hi everybody welcome back to today's video i'm going to show you how to design this real quick um without further delay let's step in photoshop let me show you the tricks that i use to achieve this realistic touch and beauty um over here all right so let's step into photoshop i'm going to click on create new right now and then i am going to use these dimensions now remember it is a social media post so we gotta keep it square all right i'm going to keep here 2000 and i'm going to keep here 2000 i'm going to call it social media post because that's what it is i'll keep everything like this maybe click over here and change it to maybe on color white or something like that click on ok and click on create but also most important thing is your alignment your alignment needs to be on point to do that i want you to go to view and i want you to go to new guys layout and set it to six six and click on ok but now with that done we want to start with our solid color for the background so i'll come down here and then i'll click on that and i'll go to solid color and then i'm going to be using this color code f f5 e8 c8 all right so now it looks creamish like off-white that is good now we also want to type over here and then we want to put in the following details there now this is the details you're going to be using for the background all right so it's really important but the way we the way we are going to place it is the most vital thing okay so the color i'm going to be using for this is let's go to character and then let's go here and then i'm going to be using this color v94907 all right okay and also the font i am going to be using is impact all right impact regular nice let's make a few tweaks to it over here um let's set the font size to a bigger font all right so this font is quite big also maybe around this side you want to set to around 97 there are about okay you can see the way it spaces out nicely like that but i don't like the way it looks like over here so perhaps you can do something about it i'm going to set this side to 100 let's see good i like it now it looks good it looks realistic um and then maybe perhaps this side let's set it to 120 make sure it's all caps all right the color we already have the color already okay so um everything looks good everything looks great everything looks perfect let's make this side minus 25 minus 25 okay species all right so i feel like this is good I'm going to control T and I'm going to make it like that. Then I'm going to drag it here. It look realistic. It doesn't really look perfect. I'll put it in a group. I'm going to call it BG. All right. So put it in the group. I'm going to call it BG. It doesn't really look perfect. But there's a way we are going to make it look perfect. I'm going to show you right now. Just click on this add shadow to whatever you're going to put in there, and then it's going to look great. So you can see now, just the food here with the shadow over there, it begins to look great. There's more we can do to it to make it look even more realistic. I'm going to call it food. All right, so let's just continue. I'm going to add my contact to it. I'm going to add my contact to it. I'm going to drag it in here and I'm going to release it and then control H enter I'll move it maybe somewhere here now also pay attention i want this side ends here right yeah so i could make it end here there are various options or i could even bring it closer and then make sure you know it's in there somewhere <laughs> all right but either way guys either way it's up to you it's up to you okay so i am going to leave it somewhere here Oh, I'm going to leave it somewhere here. Like I said, totally depends on you. All right. So um, that's contact. That's contact. But one thing is for sure, I don't want it to be too far away from the text. I want them to be quite closer to each other. Now I'm going to bring in the price. I'm going to type somewhere here, and then uh, it's going to be five dollars all right so five dollars is going to be the price um the phone i'm going to be using for the price is lato lato all right so we're going to be using lato but we're going to be using um lato black because i want it to be really bold and then i'm going to set it to a very small size for the font good then i'm going to the left side to go and pick 
uh, you know, ellipse two, and then I'm going to drag and create a circle over there like that. Okay, and then I'm going to be picking the color in the background, the background color like that. I'll drag it underneath it, and then I'll hold Control and I'll click on the thumbnail here. You can see some dancing dance around it. Good. Click on your move tool. Um, let's see, I'm going to click here. now. It's guys with five dollars selected. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click there. All right, all right. I'm going to click. Yeah, as well all right so that's it Control d to deselect now we can even make it uh, much more smaller if we want to also the color i'm going to be using is not really this color i'm going in there and i'm going to pick a reddish color inside there you know, that is it i'll put it in a group and i'm going to call it price also we want to tweak it a little bit create something so we just rotate it a little bit and then drag it a little bit inside okay so that is it with the price we also want to add in some few information and with that i'm just going to pick that good copy it um i'll click on my text tool and i'm going to paste it in there we are still using Lato, guys. We are still using Lato, but we're going to make the font size really small. So I'm going to use maybe 12 there about. Use any fonts that are smaller. Uh, I'm going to drag it inside here. Also, I want to make sure it's not caps. All right, it shouldn't be caps. Now, we can do these few things to it. Let's change from black to bold. And then also, guys, here is 1110, of course, 1110. Um, with that done, I want you to come and pick your, um, you know, rounded rectangular two and then i'll just want you to create something around it all right just create something around it good all right so that is done let's bring it down here i'll go to this side and i'm going to set it to 40 for now all right so let's set it to 40 it looks good also i want you to hold control and click on the thumbnail we're going to use the same process we used for the other ones as well okay so i'll click over here make sure sorry make sure text is selected i'll click over here then i'll click over here good i'm going to put it in a group and i'm going to call it let us Control t Control h and then i'm also going to make sure it falls in the middle of the line there you feel me it has to fall in the middle of the line here why do I do that? Because I want it to create a nice alignment. Now we're also not yet done. I'll go here to the rounded thing over here. I want to give it more realistic touch. So I'll go to the drop shadows, right? And then the drop shadows, what I'm going to do is that I'll go to this side and then I might set it to the reddish color here or maybe even come down a little bit. All right, the orange color there. And then I'm going to set the opacity here to 61 good the angle here it needs to be a little bit higher 104 all right good and then i'm going to set this side to 20 and then i'm going to set this side to zero but then the size here i'm going to set it to much bigger figure maybe 40 then i'll click on ok and you can see how it creates that realistic touch over there let's close it and so this is how it's going to be this is how work is going to look like but i also want to drag it up a little bit more yep up a little bit more nice 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 and then let's tie everything together with one color so i'll go here and i'm going to use gradient map for this gradient map helps me to tie all the colors together blend them together nicely make sure that they coordinate nicely for one particular I mean, it brings unity let me put it that way so the first color code i'm going to be using is 39 21 and then um 09 all right then the next color code i'm going to be using is ffb a 9b good and then i'll go there and i'm going to set it to soft light that is it guys it's control h okay so i'm going to r as well i'm going to bring this all the way here okay I feel like making sure it aligns with this so i'll go back to contact and i'm going to move it 
I'm going to move. Let's go to normal. All right, so contact here. Sorry, let's click on contact here. I'm going to move it till I get it over there. All right, so that's it. Then I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. So it is straight with this. All right, so um, with this over here. So after aligning this, what we can also do is we need to add some glue to here to make it much more realistic. So I'll come down here and I'm going to create a new layer. I'll put it in a group with Control G. Let's call it glue. Okay, and then this side, I'm going to click on my brush tool over here. All right, make sure my caps lock is off. I'm going to pick the background color. I'll click in the middle here and I'm going to set it to linear dodge. Then I'll click on my move tool here and I'm going to move it uh, maybe somewhere around this side. Then I'm going to increase it a bit more. All right, so that is it. But I'll go here and I'm going to reduce the opacity down a little bit more to be around 30 to 40 something percent. And then that is it. Okay, so let's just move it up here like that. All right, so that is it. And it looks good. Okay, so guys, just remember we just aligned this to this and then we just added some glue here. And that is it. Now, if you love this video, hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel, guys. I love you all. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.